Lecture by CYC Chen Cynthia. You can pause anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键。Make sure have your tools ready. Hello, everyone. Today we are going to do the markers art. So we are going to use the markers to create a bunch of the pattern, and the drawing will looks very fancy and colorful. All right. So today's topic is the pineapple. So we are going to do the pineapple all together. Then I will going to teach you how to create a fancy pattern. All right. So let's begin. So this is our joint, and make sure it looks like the vertical directions. All right, straight up. So we will have enough space to place entire pineapple on our joint. Okay. So you need a pencils and erasers in case anything we need to fix. All right. So before we start, I want to borrow the fingers. So what we gonna do? I want you to show me two fingers to place. The bottom of the paper and have a mark. See, a mark here is at the center of the paper. It's about two fingers from the spots to the edge. Two fingers. How about the top? About four fingers on the top, right here. Same thing. A mark here. All right. So we got two points. So I want you to extend the points a little bit wider, a little bit wider, top and bottom. All right. Then I want to have a curved shape all the way down. Now it looks a little bit straight, but curve again and touch, join the lines. We are going to do exactly the same thing on the right. A curve all the way down. And close. All right. I'm gonna remove the extra line. So if you make the mistake, you have to clear the pencil line. Don't leave the. Mistake right there, so you are going to be confused. All right, so that's the pineapple, the body of the pineapple. All right, then we are going to add in the leaf. The pineapple is very special because he has the top looks like the grass, and the bottom looks like the small grass. So they have the top and the bottom. All right, so we are going to have something looks like here. Two fingers. So what do I need? This two thing, uh, two dots right here. Okay. So all the grass has to come back in between. See, even I'm going to have the leaf over it, but I'm going to come in back on it. Okay. So whatever how big, I always come in back. To touch the points. See, I have to then. I have them too big, so I have to shrink it. Make it look smaller. All right. So I want to do two more in between. And two. All right. And the bottom, you are going to have the grass looks like this. Two, three, four. You might notice all of them looks different. All right. Okay. So we are going to divide. We are going to divide the pineapple into many pieces. Okay. So here is what we gonna do. I want you to have a curved shape from the left. Cross over. To the right, from the right, cross over 
to the curved line. So you are not going to cross over all the way to the left. You stop here. Then I'm going to have a curve in between. Okay, so repeat from the left to the right. From the right, join to the left, right here. I'm doing a curve shape in between. Okay, how about the last one? We just have a curve shape. One, two. That's it. So that's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we got a very small, small triangle there. Okay? And pineapple is something pointy, right? The skin is very rough. So we are going to add some spiky thing, but not too much, okay? So looks like here. One, two, three. All right, if you want to have four, yeah, it's okay, but less than five, more than three, okay? So one, two, That's finish the pineapple. Then we were going to use the black markers to outline the pineapple first. Then I will going to teach you how to create the, uh, the pattern, not shadow. We are going to create the pattern for each of the area. All right, now grab your markers. Try to find the fine markers, okay? The black one. So we are going to trace every single part of the pineapple, all right? So try to trace on the line. Don't create the new one, okay? Now you can begin. So finish tracing, perfect. Now we have to erase the pencil line, all right? We always keep our joint clean and neat. It looks like the professional. Okay, so let me place my pineapple on the side and I'm going to show you my piece of the blank paper. Okay, so the pattern. The pattern is something repeat, right? So let me show you my red one. So we know we add in the hatching. It is the pattern, right? Because they all look like the diagonal line. And we can add in the Greek like this. We also say that's a cross hatching, but we can say that's a Greek, all right? We can have the curve. We can repeat in the curve, right? And I also can have the thick line, thin line, thick line, thin line thicker line and thin line. It is 
use the pattern as well because it is repeating. You also can have the waving, curvy line looks like this. Wave and wave. It is the pattern. You can have the bubbles repeating the circles. It is the pattern. But you also can do something looks like this. See? I can have the curve that looks like the flowers, right? And I create another curve and keep adding the petal. It is repeating. Two orange line petal, two orange line petal. So we also can do something looks like this. Two lines and adding the triangle in between and one more line one more line and adding the triangle in between as long as the order are the same you are going to repeat the symbol it is the pattern so i want you to try to create the pattern for example i can add even more like the circle circle again and I can do something looks like this right it's repeating I keep repeating the same symbol so the lines are easy but you can create the lines into different stuff okay so let's do a few practice on the side so you can grab a piece of paper and try to create six different patterns all right then we were going to have a three minutes water break so after three minutes water break you are coming back and see how i'm doing it on my pineapple then you are going to start to do your pineapple all right so don't forget to call me back after three minutes
is our three minutes water break. You can go to the washroom or drinking some water, and you even can do some exercise to move your body. And if you haven't had the chance to complete your work, so you can use these three minutes to continue and finish your work. So for the next section, you can catch up whatever we are going to do. All right, but don't forget to coming back when the timer is done. Welcome back, everyone. So that's C mine. I'm going to decorate my pineapple, and you can use different color to do so. For example, I want to do the orange, orange, adding the petals. And one, two petals. One, two. Okay. So by this order, I should have the paddle right here, right? So that's one of the paddle. I also can use different colors. So I'm finding yellow and orange, and that's it. I want to have two orange, yellow dots, and two more orange, and the yellow dots. I have to keep repeating, right? And then the yellow dot. Then I create the other different style of the pattern. All right. So I believe you understand what we are gonna do, right? So now it's your time to start to decorate your pattern for each area. Including the leaf. All right, sounds good. Now you can begin.
I done with my pineapple, the body of the pineapple. So let's see. If your pattern has a lot of white space, you have to add even more detail into your pattern. So that's see, all the white space is very small and all the pattern is very close to each other. So you can see the color looks very colorful. All right. For example, I will going to show you the sample right here. So that's number one, that's number two. Okay, so that's see. If you have the pattern looks like this, it just like uh, the bubble inside something, it doesn't look like the pattern. It looks like the extra bubbles there. Okay, so don't do something looks like this. You have to make sure all the bubble is very close to each other and they are very, very tight. Okay, so that is the pattern because they are very close to each other. Right? So that is the pattern. And don't do something looks like this. It's something extra. All right, so you have to make sure all the pattern has to be close to each other. The joint has to be very, very neat. All right. So when you finish the body of the pineapple, then you have to work it on the leaf. All right.
right? And those pointy thing is very very small. So it's okay. You can find the color. Just fill them in. Okay, so you don't have to worry about adding the pattern inside. I understand it's too small for you to add in the pattern. But if you want to try, yeah, sure, go ahead. I will be happy that you want to try something. Okay, so if you think that's very, very small, you can just fill the color in. Okay, so feel free. If you want to add in some background, I'm cool with that. But that is your choice. Okay, so you can have some simple background. You don't have to do too much, but you can have some simple background to make the drawing looks complete. All right. So when you done, you can write the title for your drawings, like pineapple. All right. Then you can sign the name. is because you are telling people you check your work and your work is complete so if you don't sign the name on your joints is telling people I'm not checking my work my work is not complete so you must to sign the name to tell people you finish your work and the date is the record for you after 10 years, you still remember when you did this one, okay? So finish your work, sign the name, and write down the date. And hopefully you enjoyed the class today. When you complete your drawing, sign the name and write down the date. 完成画作之后,签下你的名字,跟写上日期 Don't forget to take a photo of your drawing and send it to us 不要忘记帮你的作品拍上照片寄给我们哦 And don't forget to clean out the table before you go 不要忘记清洁你的桌子哦 Bye bye, see you next time